Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. Under the chairmanship of the Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, the Parliamentary Division of the Kingdom of Bahrain concluded participation in the General Assembly of the Inter-Parliamentary Union and the meetings of the Governing Council of the Inter-Parliamentary Union. The meetings dealt with a number of important topics, the most prominent of which the topic of mitigating the negative effects of the pandemic of corona on democracy and human rights, identifying the main measures that parliaments must take to resolve and restore confidence in democracy and renewing multilateral cooperation and dialogue to face global challenges. The Governing Council of the Inter-Parliamentary Union approved the Kingdom of Bahrain representation in three committees of the International Parliamentary Union, namely the High-Level Advisory Group to Combat Terrorism and Violent Extremism, the Parliamentary Women's Office and the Committee to Promote Respect for International Humanitarian Law. The Arab Parliament Speaker Adel bin Abdurrahman al Asumi met with the Egyptian Minister of State for Immigration and Expatriates Affairs, Nabila Mukaram. They discussed means of stepping up cooperation, focusing on the economic security and humanitarian aspects of the Minister extended deepest gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing the royal care extended to the Egyptian community in Bahrain and all residents living in the kingdom and providing them with health care against COVID-19 pandemic. She praised Bahrain's pioneering humanitarian initiatives led by His Majesty the King, hailing the role of the, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and Supreme Council for Women President in supporting and empowering Bahraini women. Following the directives issued by the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus to temporarily close non-essential businesses from early Friday 28th of May to 10th of June 2021, while hypermarkets, supermarkets, cold stores, bakeries, pharmacies and banks remain open and restaurants continue to provide services through takeaway or delivery only. The Minister of Commerce and Industry and Tourism issued a notice clarifying what is deemed non-essential. Under the decision, all retail and industrial enterprises will close temporarily from Friday the 28th of May 2021 till Thursday the 10th of June 2021. The following types of businesses are excluded from them under these measures and may continue to operate as usual. Hypermarkets, supermarkets, cold stores, groceries, butcher shops and fish shops, bakeries, natural gas fueling stations and liquid fueling stations. Hospitals, medical centers, pharmacies and optical centers, banks and currency exchange bureaus, corporate administration offices of companies and organizations that conduct activities without direct engagement with customers. Businesses that import and export and distribute goods, automotive, garages and repair shops, businesses operating in the construction and maintenance industry, manufacturers. The Ministry noted the importance of adherence to the regulations and procedures issued by the Ministry of Health aimed at containing and preventing the spread of the COVID-19 virus and in particular measures of social distancing. Retail and industrial enterprises are allowed to engage in the sale of goods and services and their delivery by electronic means and social media platforms. Restaurants and food beverage outlets are also permitted to operate through takeaway services and home delivery services only. The President of the Civil Service Bureau, President Ahmed bin Zayed Zayed, issued Civil Service Directives 4 for the year 2021 regarding the application of the work from home policy and the mandatory periodic rapid antigen tests for government employees at workplaces. The mandatory directives are based on the decisions of the National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19 approved by the Executive Committee in support of Bahrain's efforts to curb the pandemic. Under the civil service directives, government bodies are required to apply the work from home policy to cover 70% of public employees, effective from May the 27th until June the 10th. The measure does not apply to vital government jobs that provide health, electricity, water, civil aviation services, sanitation, and other necessary services. The mandatory rapid antigen tests will be carried out on a weekly basis for government employees at their workplaces and those who are contracted by the government bodies. Employees who have a negative polymerase chain reaction test, PCR, no older than 48 hours from the time of being conducted through the Be Aware Bahrain application are exempted. 
government bodies are required to coordinate with the Civil Service Bureau to provide rapid antigen test devices according to the number of employees present at the workplace. The directors of human resources are required to coordinate to ensure their employees at the workplace undergo the rapid antigen tests on a weekly basis. In the event that one of the employee's tests is positive, he or she must immediately report his or her case and take the necessary measures in accordance with the guidelines in force set by the competent authorities and inform the direct superior. Government bodies are also required to prepare lists of employees, names and the results of their rapid antigen tests and send them to the Civil Service Bureau at the end of the week. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 897,414 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 758,376 had taken the second dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 26,872 with 1,970 recoveries and 3,051 new cases registered. Of the cases registered, 1,184 are expatriates. 1,861 are contacts of active cases and six are travel related. The Ministry of Health announced 16 deaths from COVID-19 and expressed its condolences to the families of the deceased. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.